Now we are going to discuss the multiple choice question on finance accounting of become part 1 semester 2nd. It's a second part. Question number 44. The price of assets and liabilities taken over by newly formed limited company which is payable to the partnership firm is called as a purchase consideration. Here option A is correct one. Question 45. The purchase consideration may be discharged in the form of shares, debentures and cash. Here option A is correct one. Question 46. The purchase consideration may be calculated by net asset method, lump sum method, A or B, none of these. Here option C is correct one. Question 47. There is no part of calculation in the method of a lump sum method. Here option B is correct one. Question 48. Under net asset method, the purchase consideration is equal to agree value of asset taken over minus a die dash. Here agree value of liabilities taken over. See in option. Here option B is correct one. Question 49. The purchasing company agreed to take over plant and machinery at least 4 lakh 50, furniture at least 1 lakh 20, stock at least 21,000, data service 20,000, subject to 5% reserve for doubtful dates and also agreed to take over traders of which 40,000 subject to 5% discount. What is the amount of purchase consideration? We make a workings. Mustard value rupees 450. Furniture rupees 120. Stock rupees 21,000. And datas 20,000. Subject to 5% RID, it will be deducted. 21 as 5 percent it comes 19,000. These are the assets taken over. We make the totals. 6 lakh 10,000 and creators of rupees 40,000 subject to 5% discount. It will be deducted 40 minus 5%. It comes 38,000. Is a liability taken over 38,000 will be deducted as a liability is taken over. An answer comes to be 5 lakh 72,000 is a purchase consideration. Now see in options. Option A is correct one. Question 50. On dissolution of partnership firm. The assets and liabilities at book value are transferred to a die dash account, a realization account. Here option B is correct one. Debit balance of a realization account indicates debit balance is always a loss, loss on realization account. C in option, option C is correct one. Credit balance of realization account indicates credit balance is a profit one. C in option, profit on realization. Here option B is correct one. Any assets taken over by partner, die dash account is debited. Here, partner's capital account will be debited. Here, option C is correct one. The purchase price less agreed value of assets is a, called as a goodwill. Here, option B is correct one. Excess payment over the asset taken over is called as a goodwill. Question 55. If the assets are issued by vending company at a premium, the amount of premium is credited to die dash account in the books of vending company. It is credited to a share premium or a security premium account. Here option C is correct one. Question 56. The vending company record the assets and liabilities at a, a die dash value, at agreed value. Here option B is correct one. Question 57. The realization expenses paid by firm is debited to a die dash account. Here a realization account. Option C is correct one. Question 58. Unless otherwise stated, equity shares received from the vending company are to be distributed among the partners in their die dash ratio. Here, last capital balance ratio. Option D is correct one. Any assets not taken over by the vending company which realized by the firm die dash account is a credited. Here, real dash account is credited. C in option C is correct one. Question 60. Any liability not taken over by the vending company which paid off by the firm die dash account is a credited here cash and bank account is credited option c is correct one question 61 if the partner's capital is maintained under fixed capital method all adjustment of undistributed profits or losses reserves relation profit and losses is to be made with a partner's current account here option b is correct one question 62 the purchase consideration was fixed at fees 150,000 payable in 5,000 equity shares of which 10 each at rupees 8 paid up. 4,007% prepensions 
of listing each at a par value and the balance in cash what is the amount of cash to be paid by the windy company we may calculate here it is 5000 increases of listing each but rupees 8 paid off we have to multiply by 8 it comes to be 40000 in equity shares 4000 preferences of listing each value rupees 40000 total payment in a shares rupees 80000 but purchase concession rupees 150000 out of these in a shares rupees 80000 and the balance rupees 70000 will be paid in cash it is a cash to be paid by the vendi company is an answer c in option option c is correct one question 63 the purchase consideration is fixed at rupees 1,24,000. Payable rupees 45,000 in 5% images at rupees 90. 4,000 equity shares of rupees 15 each at a premium rupees 1 each. The balance in cash, what is the amount of cash payment? We may calculate here it is 45,000 in a 5% images. Here 45,000 in 5% images. 4,000 equity shares of rupees 15 each. But issued price at a premium rupee 1 each, it means at rupee 16 each. Here, 4000 into 16, it comes 64000. Total payment in a debentures and shares rupees 1,9000. But the purchase concern rupees 1,24000. Out of these, shares and debentures are rupees 1,9000. Here, difference is 15000 will be paid in cash. Is a cash payment. C in option. Option A is correct one. Question 64. The value of net assets less purchase concern is a call as a capital reserve. C in option B is correct one. Question 65. The purchase consideration rupees 80,000. Value of net asset rupees 95,000. Difference of rupees 15,000 is a die dash. Now see, excess of purchase price is called as goodwill. Here, purchase price is a less than the net assets. Therefore, it is a Capital reserve. C in option. Option A is correct one. Question 66. The purchase consideration rupees 1 lakhs. The value of assets rupees 80,000. Difference is here purchase concession is excess amount. Therefore, it is a good wheel. C in option. B is correct one. Question 67. The aggregate value of assets taken over rupees 1 lakh 50,000 and aggregate value of liabilities taken over rupees 30,000. The purchase consideration rupees 1 lakh 30,000. What is the amount of goodwill or capital reserve? We may calculate here it is value of asset taken over rupees 150,000 and uh, value of liabilities taken over rupees 30,000. We may subtract is a uh, answer is 120,000 is value of net asset taken over and purchase concession rupees 130,000 is an excess amount over the asset taken over. Excess value is considered as a goodwill. Difference is 10,000. 10,000 is a uh, well, up good wheel. C in option A. Option A is correct one. Question 68. The purchase consideration is fixed at rupees 84,000 payable as rupees 6,300 wishes of which 10 each at rupees 12 per share and the balance in cash. What is the amount of cash payment? Now see 6,300 wishes at rupees 12 each. 6,300 into 12 it comes 75,600. Total purchase consideration rupees 84,000. Out of this, shares payment rupees 75,600 and the remaining balance rupees 8,400 is a cash payment. Now see, it answers option B is correct one. Question 69. A, B and C were partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 1 by 2, 3 by 8, 1 by 8 respectively. They accumulated credit balance of profit and loss on rupees 40,000. What is the proportionate amount of profit and loss? transfer to B's capital account. Here B's share is a 3 by 8, 40,000 is accumulated balance. We may calculate here it is 40,000 into 3 by 8. We may calculation 8 1s are 8, 8 5s are 40, 5 into 3, it comes a 15,000. 15,000 is a proportionate amount transfer to B's capital account. C in option, option A is correct one. Question 70. The purchase consideration is agreed at rupees 1,50,000. Whereas, the value of net asset taken over rupees 92,000. What is the amount of goodwill or capital is the row? Excess purchase price is called as goodwill. Here, purchase price rupees 150. Value of asset taken over 92,000. It means excess amount is called as goodwill. 
we find out the excess amount 150000 minus 92000 difference is 58000 is a good wheel now see in option option c is correct one question 71 the last balance capital show of partners a b c where 12 as 2 17 as 2 10 and 1300 equity shares of rupees 100 each were issued from wendy company against purchase price what is the distribution of shares among the partners here each shares of rupees 100 each it means the answer should be in multiple of rupees 100 each see in options here option a last digit is 0 last digit is 7 here 3 it means it is a multiple of 1 each second option last two digits are 00, zero. here 70 here 30 it's a multiple of rupees 10 each here option c last three digits are 00, zero. here 700 here 300 is a multiple of rupees 100 each and last option d is a four digits or three digit 00, zero. 7000 1000 is in multiple of rupees 1000 here answer should be in multiple of rupees 100 each here option c is correct one question 72 pick odd one out here furniture inventories account receivable and accounts payable here accounts payable is a liability others are assets therefore option d is correct one the object of business to open its branches at various places in the same city or different parts of the country or even in foreign countries to maximize profit expansion of business conveniently for doing the business activities and all of these one here option d is correct one question 74 a branch is a section of business segregated physically from the main section the main section is also called as a, a head office here option c is correct one which of the following is object of branch accounting to find out the profit or loss of each branch to know the financial portion of the branch to keep control over working of each branch and all of these one here option d is correct one question 76 which of the following includes types of branches dependent branch independent branch foreign branch and all of the above here option d is correct one all of the above is correct answers question 77 dependent branch are not allowed to make their own purchases make their own expenses make their final accounts and all of these one here option d is correct one question 78 dependent branches are required to sell the goods as directed by head office such as at a sales price fixed by head office for cash only for a cash and credit and all of the above here option d is correct one question 79 in case of dependent branch the head office find out the profit or loss of the branch by the method of a preparing branch account stock and data system preparing branch trading profit account and uh, any one of the above method here option d is correct one where branch account is prepared uh, incorporation of opening branch assets are debited to a branch account here option b is correct one under stock and data system to cancel the loading on goods sent, Didash account is opened. A branch adjustment account is opened. Here option A is correct one. If invoice price is 25% above cost, it means Didash percentage on invoice price. Here 25% it means is a one fourth on cost is equal to one fifth on invoice price. One fifth on invoice price means a a 20% on a invoice price. Here option B is correct one. Question 83. Branch expenses are paid by head office. Didash account is a debited. A branch account is debited. Here option C is correct one. If invoice price is 33.33% above cost, it means Didash percentage on invoice price. 33.33% it means one third on cost price is equal to one fourth on invoice price one fourth on a invoice price one fourth means a, a 25 percent c in option option b is correct one these are the multiple choice questions remaining questions will continue on a next part okay thank you